From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. I'm Dee O'Reilly. Expect another humid day across the Bay Area today. Greg D. will have your full forecast coming up, but first, though, I want to get to your ABC Action News headlines. Sarasota detectives are hunting for a 17-year-old. They say he killed a teenager early Sunday morning. Officers believe 17-year-old James Griffin Jr. is armed and dangerous. Police say the victim died from an apparent gunshot. They say Griffin will be charged with aggravated manslaughter once he's caught. If you know anything about where he might be, call Sarasota police. A driver died late Sunday night when a train slammed into his car near MLK Boulevard and Sydney Dover Road. Deputies say his Ford Mustang got stuck on the train tracks. The driver was out and trying to move the car when the train hit it. The Mustang then hit the driver, who sadly died at the scene. Fire officials are trying to figure out what caused a tiki hut to go up in flames overnight at PJ's Liquors on Northdale Mabry. Firefighters responded just before 2.30 this morning. The hut that burned was right next to the main building. Crews say the actual liquor store did suffer just a little bit of damage, but nobody was hurt. A new study released today warns that smoking just one cigarette a day during pregnancy can double the chance of your baby unexpectedly dying before his or her first birthday. According to scientists at the Seattle Children's Research Institute, approximately 3,700 babies die from sudden unexpected infant death every year. They say about 800 of those deaths could be prevented if women never smoked during pregnancy. As part of our commitment to drive Tampa Bay forward, we want to let you know about this afternoon's forum where you can help influence future transit plans over the next 25 years. Sarasota and Manatee counties want your suggestions on proposed bus, bike and walking connections. That forum starts at 430. It's at the Bayfront Community Center on North Tamiami Trail in Sarasota. All right, here's Greg D now with your forecast. And you started off with some fog and some low clouds early today, but things are going to turn sunny by the afternoon. Hello, everybody. Temperatures in the 70s will climb quickly into the mid 80s. Now, if you're at the coast, we're going to stay in the upper 70s to around 80 because of a sea breeze. Tampa should make it to the low to mid 80s, but east of 75, you could see some places like Lakeland, Mulberry, maybe Plant City reach the upper 80s for a short while this afternoon. Then some scattered clouds for tonight. We may see some more fog tomorrow morning. You can track it along with us by going to our website, abcactionnews.com. Dia. All right, thank you, Greg. In Democracy 2019, the Greater Tampa Chamber of Commerce is co-hosting the first mayoral runoff debate tonight between Jane Castor and David Straz. It's at 7 o'clock at the Falk Theater on the University of Tampa campus. Tickets are $25 for non-chamber members. You can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download the free ABC Action News app to receive breaking news alerts. This ABC Action News update is brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com. Pedestrians always use the crosswalk and cross with the signal when crossing the street because safety doesn't happen by accident.